Hey, what's going on guys? It's Jay, the Healthy Accountant, and I wanted to come on, cut this quick video for you. Man, um, hopefully you saw the first two videos I did. Um, the first one uh, was all about you and, and basically you being the best person you want to become. Uh, and then the second one was on better money management equals financial clarity. Today, I'm going to be speaking about sales and marketing. And if if your business is anything like mine, like, you know, being an accountant for so long, um, I fell right into the same, you know, the stereotypes of the typical accountant, you know, no sales, no marketing, want to sit behind the desk, uh, want to crunch numbers, um, don't want to interact as much, you know, you know, the same old cliche, accountants, accountants basically choose to be accountants typically because they they don't want to be bothered. Uh, they, <laughs> they don't want to do sales. And so that was something that 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 totally was me for a long time. Now, don't get it twisted. I did get out there. I did do sales and I did things, but um, I used to retreat. And so retreat is um, considered the second level of action. You're going to see something about that soon. But uh, uh, if you catch the book 10x rule, retreat is one of these actions that we that we do when there's a negative uh, situation or there's fear or there's something that we don't want to do so we actually retreat from doing it you you may have started doing it then you all all of a sudden you retreat from doing it so i used to retreat i would get sales and then i would um then i would basically stop you know, I would say, oh, let me go back to the office and let me just handle all of the work now, which that would go on for months. Right. You know, then you look up and man, I haven't gotten any new clients in a long time. And, you know, you know, if you're a small business owner, this is probably the number one reason why you're you're having problems in your business is because the lack of attention on customers. And I'm going to tell you for years and years and years and years this has been a problem. Look, I, I, look I'm not going to sit here and sugarcoat you and tell you that I didn't have problems getting customers. Even today, constant, the constant marketing, the constant, you know, putting, putting yourself out there. And this is what I find to be the biggest challenge for most of us is getting yourself out there. What will people think, you know, you know, if I'm constantly, you know, promoting myself, you know, people may not like, you know, me because I'm always talking about my business. Guys, you have to promote yourself. Talk to, you know, talk to Verizon, talk to Sprint, you know, talk to the big companies and, and try, what, what do they do? Do they care whether or not, you know, you don't want to see their commercial again? No, they just go ahead and buy more commercial spots. They go ahead and keep marketing to us. And it's just like, man, you know, man, I want to be like that. So my business, just like your business, if I, you know, if I can understand who you are just for a second, your business needs customers. And but what if what if you don't know what to do? You know what? Typically not knowing what to do, you gotta stand up, man. I'll walk around down here. I'm down here in my basement in my makeshift. Um, I got my room here that I do all my videos in. My video stand is broke. So, and uh, my my helper, she was busy doing something. So I'm just going to kind of walk around just so that, you know, my arm is getting tired. But look, check this out. They continue to market their business. What about you? Do you market your business to the point where people actually get tired of seeing you and people start saying negative things about you? You know, they say you're not really being successful until you have haters. Man, that's a, that's a rough one. You know, getting haters because you're promoting yourself and promoting your business. Come on, man. That's kind of crazy. So look. What do you have to do? Well, how, what should be your first step if you wanted to increase sales and marketing? So the first thing is, it's always make a decision, right? You make a decision that you will do whatever it takes. So marketing, which is the, the engine that runs sales. 
So technically what I'm doing today is marketing. So if you were to turn on your video camera and start doing a video and post, post it and then, and then promote it. See, that's the thing on Facebook. You got to post it and then promote it. You don't want to just post it because if you just post it, then that's not really going to do anything. You have to post it and then promote it. You say, Facebook, you know what? I want to pay you money to put this video in front of people that I do not know. But here's the criteria because Facebook will let you give them a criteria. Now, if you know who you want to show it to, man, you know, I want to show this video to people that like real estate, small business owners, folks that are probably doing less than $250,000 a year um, all across the United States. And they speak English and, you know, their age is somewhere between, you know, at some point I may have 18 to 62 or 24 to 54, you know. And Facebook was like, okay, I'll find all those people for you. And then I will show them the video. See, unlike um, TV, right? If you go to TV and you want to advertise, they'll just say, hey, look, we've got 10 million viewers and, you know, that's the total amount. And we'll run your, run your uh, commercial, your one minute or 30 second commercial um, a few times a day. And, you know, we'll see who gets it. I'm going to tell you, that costs a lot of money. And you don't know who's seeing your videos. You have no idea. Facebook is so awesome because they'll tell you. They'll say, hey, look, these are all the people that saw your video. What? Now, they won't give the name and stuff like that. But they'll say, hey, you know, you, 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 you promoted your video. And, man, you, we showed the video to 6,000 people yesterday. What? 6,000 people saw it? Yes. So, guys, you have to start marketing. But use Facebook to promote you know, pay them some money. It doesn't cost that much money. You know, pay them some money. That's what's going to help fuel your sales. But you have to know who you want to send your send your information to. And you have to have something to share with them. You know, I'm an accountant, right? I'm not sitting here talking about numbers. I'm just talking about a basic strategy to use your videos because you do them. And since you're doing videos, you might as well see more, get more people to see you. Because the more people that see you, the more sales you'll probably make because people do have to figure out who you are. So that's, that's like the first thing you can do. Like that's the most basic of strategies you could run to start marketing your services, start marketing yourself, branding yourself so that other people can find you and, and start knowing about you. So guys, go, go out there today, create a video about yourself, about your business, about how you could help somebody and promote it on Facebook. Let them, let them show it to all the people that would want to see it. All right, guys, I hope you got value from this. Uh, if you did, go ahead and like on the video. Share it across Facebook if you, know, if you got some video. Be on the lookout for the next video. Um, uh, we're going to talk about financial goals on the next video. God bless you. Take care.